I have a special guest here with me today. This is Martin. Martin is our new puppy. Well, we've had him for a few months, but um, anyway, <laughs> he's going to be behind me, I guess. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Simply Maggie, where I bring you all DIY tutorials. Today, we're going to do regular crochet, and I'm going to show you how to make this Okay, Martin. All right, there he goes. Now I have more room. I'm going to show you how to make this chunky stocking, Christmas stocking. And I will also show you how to make the tassel. That is optional, but I think it adds a nice touch to it. It comes together super quick because we're using super chunky yarn. So what you're going to need is two and a half skeins of this. I have my half a skein from making um, this one. This is the Premier Chunky Cotton Yarn in the color white. You are going to need a 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook. The Premier Yarn Chunky Cotton, like I said, two and a half skeins of that. And then just a yarn needle for at the end when you're weaving in your ends. We are going to pull a strand from the center of two skeins. So we have our first skein here. Okay, so there's one skein. So you want to put your two strands together as if they are one strand. And we're going to start with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around and have it overlapping. And then we're going to chain one. Let's make sure we hold our yarn here. Okay, so insert your hook into the circle. Pull up your yarn and then chain one, just like that. So now you have magic loop and a chain one on your hook. Okay, and next we're going to do eight single crochet into the center of this magic circle. So insert your hook, yarn over, yarn over, and pull through two. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Do that six more times. Three, six, and make sure you are crocheting over the tail so that you can cinch it at the end. And that's seven. Eight. Pull on the tail to cinch it closed. We're going to now slip stitch into your first single crochet that you made to join. So insert your hook, pull up the yarn, and pull that right through the loop on your hook. The next thing we're going to do is two single crochets into each stitch, making 16 single crochets. The first one is going to go right into the slip stitch we just made. Okay. It's one. My yarn is getting caught. There we go. And another one into that same slip stitch. Okay, two. And now we're going to move on to the next stitch and we're going to do two single crochets into the next stitch. Mine are a little bit tight. One, two. So we've made four single crochets. We want to do a total of 16. So two in each stitch, making 16 single crochets. Five, six. and 16. Join with a slip stitch right into that first single crochet. Pull it through and right through the loop on your hook. And now the next thing we're going to do is chain one and then one single crochet into each stitch around. So including the slip stitch, we're going to do one single crochet 
into each stitch all the way around. One, so there should be 16. Two, three, To make 16 and I'm just going to push this through here so that it bumps out that way we're gonna skip this here and we're gonna slip stitch right into that first single crochet okay so that last round you're gonna repeat five more times so you're gonna chain one single crochet into that same stitch just one single crochet and single crochet into each stitch around. So a total of 16, just like the last row. And we're gonna repeat that five more times. I am finishing up my fifth round here. 15, 16, the toe of our stocking and now we're going to work on the heel so to make the heel you want to chain one and then you want to do one single crochet into that same slip stitch space and then you'll do one more single crochet into the next stitch next we'll do one half double crochet Okay, so yarn over, pull up your yarn, you have three loops on your hook, pull through all three, if I can get through that last one, so you pull through all three, now we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch, so yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to do another half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Next we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch, one more single crochet into the next stitch, and now we're going to turn our work like that. Chain one, half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so not this one. You're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through all three. Three more half double crochets. So into the next stitch, one, yarn over, pull up your yarn, pull through all three, one more, yarn over, yarn over, pull through all three. The next is skip one stitch. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to single crochet into the following stitch. Next, we're going to turn our work, chain one, half double crochet into the next stitch, do one more half double crochet into the next stitch, And then we're going to skip one stitch and then slip stitch into the next one. So we're going to skip this one. We're going to slip stitch into this last one here. All right, so that is the heel. You can see that's the heel of our stocking. 
Now what we're going to do is make three single crochet down the heel. So first chain one, single crochet into that same slip stitch space. Two more down the heel. One, two, we're going to make eight single crochet around the front of our stocking. I'm going to skip the stitch that's already been worked in the previous round and we're going to do a single crochet into the next one. Two, three, four, five, I'm going to skip one, six, seven, eight. Now at the end of this, you should have 16 all the way around. So let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need five more stitches. So we're going to do the rest of them up the other side of the heel to make 16 stitches all the way around. So we needed five more. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and then find that first single crochet that you made, the back of the heel, and we're going to slip stitch to join. Now that we've completed our heel and we're moving on to the leg portion of the stocking, we're going to chain one, single crochet into that same slip stitch space. And then you're going to crochet all the way around, making 16 single crochet stitches. And 16. Find that first single crochet that you made right here and slip stitch. You're going to repeat that 12 more times. Okay? So chain one and single crochet all the way around starting in that same slip stitch space. That's one. Two. I am going to do 11 more rounds and then I will come back and show you how to end your stocking and make your tassel. Okay, I just want to show you that I'm coming up on the end of my two skeins here. So we're going to take our third skein. So I have one strand coming from the center and then the other strand is from the outside of the skein. So we're just going to use those the same way together as if they're one strand. And then you can either tie them to your old strands or what I like to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to finish this previous single crochet with the new yarn. And then you can tie the new tail with the old yarn inside of your stocking so you don't see it. Stuff those right inside. You can trim them if you want. And then you just continue going around. I finished up all my rows. I'm actually almost out of yarn here because I did use some of this for another tassel earlier. So I'll have to grab another skein for my tassel. But um, I'm going to let's see, slip stitch into my previous, um, my first single crochet. And now we're going to make the loop to hang the stocking. All you need to do is chain eight. So yarn over, pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. And then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna slip stitch into that same slip stitch and you're gonna pull that through and slip stitch right through the chain. Pull some yarn through to make a loop. Make another loop by pulling the yarn through. Tighten the previous one. And then pull your yarn all the way through. You may have to cut yours because you will have more left than I do. I'm gonna take my yarn needle. I'm gonna go to the inside of my stocking. And I'm just gonna go through a few probably two stitches because that's all I have enough yarn for. Pull that through. And then you have your loop to hang your stocking. I'm gonna grab another skein so I can show you how to make the tassel to hang on your stocking. I'm gonna be using this notebook here and I have my other skein. You're just going to wrap the yarn around your notebook, hold it in place with your finger, and we're gonna wrap around maybe 10 times and see if it's the thickness of the tassel that you would like. 10, and I think that's good. So grab your scissors, go ahead and cut that yarn, and then you're going to need two more strands. So you need one that's as long as the tassel. We cut it a little bit longer and then you just need a shorter one to tie it onto the stocking. The next thing you'll do is go ahead and gently slide this off of your notebook while holding all the strands in place. Take that shorter strand that you cut from the skein, tie it at the top. Go ahead and lay that longer strand out you're gonna place your tassel on top of that strand. You'll want about an inch and a half at the top. And you're gonna tie this around to cinch the tassel. And then you're gonna cut all the loops at the bottom. Trim it up to the length that you want and it'll clean it up a bit. So I'm gonna cut mine about here. And now we're gonna attach it to our stocking. I'm gonna go right below this loop here, the hanging loop, and I'm gonna push the strand right through that hole. Put this one through the loop. Go ahead and tie a double knot. It doesn't have to be really tight. I like mine to kind of dangle down a little bit. You can see that. I'm just gonna weave this in, let's see, right here. This one I'm just going to trim a bit. And that is it. Your stocking is all done. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Tag me on Instagram if you're gonna be crocheting some of these. I would love to see your finished product and how you decorate with them. My Instagram name is Simply Maggie Blog, and I will be back soon with new videos. Please comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see. If you guys have any questions about this pattern tutorial, just leave them down in the comment section and I will do my best to help you guys out and get back to you. And that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.